All right, I'm going to talk about why gradient descent converges to minimizers. This is joint work with Max Simkowitz, Mike Jordan, and Ben Recht. Okay, so we're going to study a very classical problem of minimizing a twice differentiable function, f, using the gradient descent algorithm, which I'm sure everyone here is familiar with. And this is our main conclusion. So f is a twice continuously differentiable function with a strict saddle property. I'll talk about that later. Then gradient descent with a random initialization either converges to a local minimizer or negative infinity, meaning the function's unbounded below. Okay, so first some intuition. Why is it hard to converge to a saddle? Like, so let's look at the, uh, the, the vector, a plot of the gradient vector field uh, around a saddle point. And you'll quickly see that zero is the saddle point and the only way to converge to the saddle point is if you initialize exactly on the green line. If you initialize anywhere else in this, you would get maybe close to the saddle point, but eventually leave. So at least in this picture, it's a set of measure zero where we converge to the saddle point. Okay, so some analytical intuition for those that don't like pictures. Consider this a simple quadratic where, where the saddle point is at the origin. It's easy to check that gradient descent essentially resembles power iteration on the identity minus the, has the quadratic h. So the only way that this converges to a saddle point is if your initial point x0 is in the span of the positive eigenvectors. If you have any component along a negative eigenvector, you would diverge. So as long as there's one negative eigenvector, and x0 is chosen at random, it will have some, co uh, some component along the negative eigenvector, so you would diverge. Okay, so this, is, this co basically completely characterizes the local picture, at least for a quadratic. So the question now is, how do we generalize this to non-quadratics? And we're going to do this in two steps. The first is to more rigorously characterize a local behavior when it's not quite a quadratic, and instead do something that resembles Taylor approximation. And the second is to make the local analysis global by running gradient descent backwards. Okay, so I'm going to de define some things. First of all, G is the gradient mapping, so it takes a point X and does one step of gradient descent. And I'll E plus will be the stable su subspace of a matrix A, so it's a span of the eigenvectors of A with magnitude less than one. I'll call that the stable subspace. There's a global stable set of a stationary point x star. The global stationary, the global stable set is a set of points of which I initialize at converges to a minimizer. So it's colloquially known as the basin of attraction. And also there's something called the local stable sets. So these are the set of points that are in a small neighborhood of a fixed point. And I run my gradient mapping and it stays in that ball. So it's like non-escaping, it's not going anywhere. Okay, our main tool will be the stable manifold theorem that's classical in the dynamical systems literature. And it says that if I have a local diffeomorphism of a dynamical system, a, a dynamical system G that's smooth, a local diffeomorphism, and X star is a fixed point, then the local stable manifold is an embedded disk of the same dimension as a stable subspace. And furthermore, they're tangent. Okay, so to prove this, it's very simple. We'll simply apply the theorem to a strict saddle point, x star. So critical points of a function are fixed points of a mapping G. So x star is a fixed point of the gradient map. Critical points are stationary for the dynamical system. The differential of G, or the Jacobian, is identity minus the step size times the Hessian. And the, eigen the stable subspace is precisely the span of the positive eigenvectors of the Hessian. At a strict saddle point, the local stable manifold is of codimension, it's missing a dimension because it's at most dimension n minus one, so codimension at least one. Okay, so if my dynamical system converges, then by definition it enters the local, the local stable set. Then I can recover the global stable set by uh, running my G backwards, right? If I eventually enter this set, I apply g minus k to this and union over all k. So that gives me a superset of the global stable set. Um, 
Each local stable set is measure zero because it's missing at least one dimension. Uni countable unions of measure zero, oh, sorry, G minus K preserves measure zero. It's a local diffeomorphism. And countable union of measure zero is measure zero. Okay, so thus the global stable set of a single saddle point is measure zero. Um, so to finish this up, we have to use a union bound or covering type argument over all stationary, all, over all critical points. And be, using relatively standard arguments and optimization, gradient descent actually converges, and thus it must converge to a local minimizer. Okay, so the next question is, you might be wondering what's special about gradient descent? Is there some reason that it converges to minimizers as opposed to saddles? And the, there's really nothing special. For most algorithms, you can check that a and a saddle point of a function is an unstable equilibrium of the corresponding dynamical system corresponding to these algorithms. Coordinate descent, proximal point, mirror descent, uh, gradient descent on manifolds, and so forth. Um, there's a lot of other work that shows how to escape from saddle points, uh, tr trust region methods, um, and there's also these things called curvilinear line search that where you explicitly line search along directions of negative curvature in addition to the gradient. Um, stochastic gradient converges to local minimizers on these two papers, P. Mantle and uh, Rong and Chi showed this also last year's cult. And Nastrov's cubic regularization. And also Rong's talk shows how to use that to escape higher order saddles. Okay, so to conclude. Saddle points are unstable fixed points of gradient descent dynamical system. Dynamical systems generically do not converge to their unstable fixed points. They converge to stable ones. And most, so thus, most optimization algorithms avoid saddles. So in, for future work, what we haven't understood yet is the convergence rate of gradient descent to minimizer. And we also don't understand which algorithms are fastest. And I'll conclude with that. Uh, the step size is less than 1 over L. Uh, L is less than 1 over L. Yes. That's very possible. I haven't said anything about the convergence speed. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sebastian. Uh, so P Mantle was looking at Robbins Monroe process. So it's stochastic approximation. Um, it's crucial for him to have noise in that one. Yes. No, it doesn't. <laughs>